trying to go, yeah, the party jumping off. And we putting on a show, trying to catch a vibe. We do this every time, like, na 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 Feeling like I'm on the highway, cause everything been going my way. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Miss Naturally Mary here. And today I'm sharing my long awaited tutorial on my bubble bun. You guys have been asking about this style for some time now. Every time I post on social media, everybody is in the comment section asking if there's a tutorial. So I took some time out to make this tutorial for you guys. I hope that you love it. I'll also be sure to link all the outfits down below in this collage of fall looks that I just showed you guys. So now let's get into it. This pre-tied head wrap will be linked down below as well. I know I'm gonna get questions, but this is my type for natural hair. I did have it banded overnight. It's been pre-washed. I just moisturized it and put it in about four to five braids. But transparently, I feel like it is easier with my type for hair to do this style while it's wet. So fresh out of the shower, would have been better. I've done that in the past and it was so much easier, but I'm gonna show you guys how to do it if your hair is already dry. So the bands help to stretch my hair out a bit for those who are wondering why I put the bands on my hair. So after taking those off, I'm just gonna take my braids down and then I'm gonna proceed to work on putting my hair up. To ensure that my hair is a bit more malleable, I am gonna spray water onto it and then I'm gonna pull at the roots in order to stretch those so that I can gather my hair up into a ponytail. After doing so, I'm gonna proceed to add my stylers. What do you, what you really know about me? Do you really see me? Do you really see me now? If only you could hear me out, we could be something like Now when doing a ponytail, I like to secure my hair with ouchless goodie bands. These are my favorite. I'm gonna put this one on, but I'm not gonna do it tight the first time around. This is just so that I can gather my hair and place on my stylers and get my hair nice and sleek. So I'm just gonna put this on. I think I only wrapped it like twice. The next step in the process is to slick my edges down. These are the products that I like to use. I start with the dark and lovely all natural curl defining glaze, and then I follow it up with the eco styler gel and then I apply got to be glue gel for added hold. The key to any slick down is to ensure that your hair also still looks moisturized and shiny. So that's why I start with the dark and lovely curl defining glaze. That gives me a really nice sheen and my hair looks so healthy after doing so. So I apply that first and then I proceed to layer the other two products. That also keeps my hair from flaking and turning white. So that's just a really great tip, especially for my 4C or my type 4 hair girls. Company, stack it up and lay. It's a guarantee. Sometimes I can't decipher what is real life. Trying to make sense of all the hype. Talking out your neck like, like money numbers followers are so bright. No, I am more than pictures on a cell phone. And I ain't got no money, so I know that everything is not gold. So I'ma keep on singing out my window. Yeah. What do you? If you notice, I start molding my baby hair first with a fine tooth comb, and then I like to go in with a small baby hair brush. This helps me to be as detailed as possible and also to ensure that my edges are nice and sleek and smoothed out the way that I desire. And also during this process, I do apply more Gossipy Glue Gel. That gel is gonna really help to keep my edges in place. If I just use the Eco Styler Gel, my baby hair will lift in no time, but the Gossipy Glue Gel really helps to keep them in place and maintain their form. Right after you, you more than just a picture on my 
phone, you picture perfect. I see you in my future, 2020 vision worth it. I'm lucky you a diamond, cause I know that everything is not gold. Love and light, love and light, love and light, love and light. I'ma keep on singing at my window. No, no, love and light, no, no, love and light, love and light, love and light, love and light. I'ma keep on singing at my window. What do you, what you really know about me? Do you really see? Now that my edges are just the way that I like them, it's time to remove the band and place it on so that it's tight the way that I desire for it to be for the style. So you already know that I like to try to make sure that my hair looks as polished as possible. So I want to ensure that any areas that look sparse along my hairline that I fill those in. So I like to do so with Topic. And these are hair fibers that help to create a thicker, fuller look. So I'm gonna spray those in the areas that I feel like it needs a little extra. And then I'm gonna proceed to work on my bun. Now the next step in the process is to moisturize my hair because this is going to act as a protective style and I want to make sure that my hair is thriving. So I'm going to apply these two products and then I'm going to proceed to twist it up and then pin it down. Now it's time to get into the bubble bun. You can leave your hair like this. It would be cute, but I like to add a little extra volume, length, all that. So I'm gonna use a drawstring ponytail. Now this one is by Her Given Hair, but you can use any drawstring ponytail that you feel like matches your natural hair. Or you can even achieve this hairstyle with your natural hair if it's long enough, but mine is not yet. So I'm gonna be adding the drawstring. So this is what the drawstring ponytail construction looks like. It has two combs, one at the top, one at the bottom, and then there's a drawstring that you use in order to tighten it around your ponytail. I'm gonna pull the drawstring ponytail over the bun that I've created, insert the comb in front of the bun and the comb in the back behind the bun, and then I'm gonna use the drawstring in order to secure it nice and tightly around my bun. I'll cherish your heart on the day, please. I'll be your protection when you need safety. Take a chance on me. Yeah, I know we're friends. I've been here for some years. I'm the shoulder you cry on when you're drowning in tears. I've witnessed every heartbreak. Hurting for more. All right, now.
now it's time to take a section of the hair from the ponytail at the top and you're gonna wrap that section around the base. That's to conceal the ponytail holder and also the drawstring. So we're gonna cover that area, secure it with a bobby pin, and then I'm gonna apply some eco styler gel to give it some shine and give it some extra hold. And then I'm gonna proceed to mold and shape and create the bun. From all of your mistakes, they never treasured you, but I see your worth. Now to ensure that the hair looks as natural as possible, I'm gonna add some more of the dark and lovely curl defining glaze. This is gonna give it a really nice healthy shine. So I'm gonna add that to the hair and then I'll come back on when we move on to the next step. You know where I stand, you already know my heart, your future I wanna be a part. gather the hair up and moisturized it you're going to cup the hair in the center and then you're going to proceed to add an ouchless goodie band to the center portion and I like to wrap it twice and this creates a really nice bun ponytail style as well I've rocked it like this in the past after you've added the hair tie be sure to shape the bubble at the bottom by pulling on the hair so that you can create more of the shape that you desire oh, you should take me oh, I'll cherish your heart on the day Now for the second bubble, all you have to do is get another hair tie and you're just gonna wrap that around after you've molded and shaped the bubble at the top. And you're gonna wrap that twice as well tucking any hair that is left out and you're good to go. This is so easy. This style happened by accident, but I was so happy with how it turned out and you all loved it, so I was really glad. tutorial i hope that you all thoroughly enjoyed it be sure to like comment and subscribe also follow me on instagram if you aren't already let me know how you all feel about this double bun i look forward to your comments and feedback i cannot wait to hear from you guys and i'll see you all in my next tutorial bye guys na, 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 na.